The left-wing regimes of Nicaragua and Belarus announced a new bilateral cooperation despite the sanctions imposed against Managua and against Minsk. Of course, this incredible and surprising announcement comes in a moment when both regimes are essentially suffering international pressures, essentially because of the fact that they have been committing all types of anti-democratic and authoritarian acts against not only their populations, but also the members of the opposition, both in Nicaragua and Belarus. Basically, this is uh, the, the typical case where different dictatorships try to have some diplomatic cooperation that could extend to many other areas like the economy, especially when both dictatorships are cornered by the international community and especially by the United States, by the United States government. This has always happened. We have seen a lot of examples of this type of situation, especially between governments of Eastern Europe and the Middle East. And this is basically exactly what is taking place both in Nicaragua and Belarus. So this, uh, this bilateral cooperation is quite interesting because both dictatorships essentially share a pretty similar left-wing ideology with Alexander Lukashenko and Daniel Ortega being some of the, some, some of the most prominent left-wing figures in their respective regions in Eastern Europe and of course uh, Central America. So this is only the tip of the iceberg. On the one hand it is an undeniable fact that one of the main reasons behind this cooperation is uh, these similarities in their political ideology. But on the other hand, it's also a huge necessity for both leaders, considering that the international pressures that both are suffering is, is quite damaging. It's quite damaging for, for both dictators and they have to look any type of partnerships to stabilize, to, to maintain uh, their power, of course, to, to, to remain in power and especially to, to, well, essentially to keep their economic realities intact or at least prevent any type of, of worst case scenario in where the economy could get even worse and this could bring uh, some pretty risky situations for them. We're talking about, of course, uh, some massive protests that could end up in an unexpected scenario both for Lukashenko and Daniel Ortega. Of course, you, you may think actually that the case of Lukashenko, he probably should, uh, wouldn't need any type of bilateral cooperation with Nicaragua uh, if taken into consideration the fact that Vladimir Putin has always been his main ally. However, since the last presidential elections in Belarus, which ended in, in, a, in an absolute horror show with any type of, of criminal acts against members of the Belarus opposition, the support of Vladimir Putin wasn't the same. It wasn't the same. It was a, a, a pretty weaker support. And this is exactly what, what is taking place in Nicaragua with the left-wing regimes of Venezuela and Cuba suffering one of their worst crises, being unable to support Nicaragua as they used to. So this, bilateral, this new bilateral cooperation between Belarus and Nicaragua is based not only on political ideology, but also is based on the biggest political pragmatism. We're talking about real politics, essentially. Reporting from Medellin, Colombia, Luis Orozco, Newsweek.